Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for a new donation deck which is going to be Simic Stompy. So it seems like this is a popular deck that's kind of making the rounds around Arena um, that uh, was seen from some people here in chat have uh, been talking about it. And we had a viewer here donate to see it in action. So. We are a Stompy deck because we're a green creature deck that's just trying to attack a whole lot. Basically, the main parts of a Stompy deck are going to be Steel Leaf Champion, Nullhide Ferox. Uh, but we're splashing blue so we can have a little bit of interaction with our opponent, specifically having Counter Magic in the sideboard here and also some Counter Magic in the main deck with having Frilled Mystics in the main deck uh, that we can cast even though even if we have Nullhide Ferox in play. Hey, Orasonic. Um, the other thing that's that's a little bit different about this deck is it's playing Departed Deckhand in the two drop slot. I'm skeptical that this would be better than Wild Growth Walker, but we'll we'll see. It's it's more aggressive in the fact that it can uh, end games basically on its own. So it can't be blocked except by spirits, which there aren't really very many spirits in in standard. So it's it's almost unblockable, and you can also pay for to make another creature again basically unblockable so when you're playing large creatures creatures with keyword big on them steel leaf null hide galta these creatures have keyword big and if you can just make them unblockable then uh, you can really end a lot of games that way so <laughs> So we'll uh, see how see how this goes here uh, with the deck, and we got lots and lots of Galtas, and uh, yeah, sideboard wise we got Titanic Brawl and Sleep, a couple of interaction spells you don't see too often. Uh, usually I like playing like Entrancing Melody in uh, blue green decks, but we'll see how these work out. This is what our sideboard has. Uh, Spell Pierce is another card that I I don't care for at all, but um, if we're going to be pretty aggressive, uh, hopefully it will actually counter stuff. I saw I just played so many Spell Pierces that don't counter things, but Love Negate, you know, Love Frilled Mystic, Null Hide Steel Leaf are great, Jade Light Harpooner are great, Land of Elves are like Galta kills people. Let's let's stop. An opponent ran. Departed Deckhand into a Basilica Bell Haunt. <laughs> okay, so that's a spirit. Don't want to run it in there. We have a lot of different uh, choices for our unclaimed territories. I'm assuming we're going to be naming Elf quite a bit. Because because Elf cast Steel Leaf Champion and Frilled Mystic, so I assume that's why we have Unclaimed Territories to try to help casting Steel Leaf and Frilled Mystic. <laughs> Dive down the deckhand. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Hey, needy. Good evening. Oh no, I'm sorry, Key. Mold of five for Dark Rob. Which is unfortunate. We ended the last like three matches with Naya Value is just real bad mana troubles on both sides. Colossal Majesty. Yeah, they have a Colossal deck as well. Let's throw on the Frilled Mystic in the graveyard. We're just going to play four dro three drop, four drop. And we should be able to win this one. It's like we got the green Stompy Mirror. Look at this tiny little deck. This looks like like four cards compared to that. All 
All right, gave them the chance to trade. They didn't want to take it. <laughs> and of course, they did not want to trade because of their Colossal ma Majesties. They want to have a creature power four or greater at the beginning of their upkeep. This is certainly one that, honestly, we could definitely lose this. Like, they're going to be drawing, you know, they're drawing three cards a turn. Dang, I need to play Pelt Collector first. Yeah, I should play Pelt Collector first. Could have grown that Pell Collector with the creature dying. That's my B. Could have had a 3-3 Collector. But it'll, the Collector will be lethal next turn anyway. I can just play another Ferox, make it a 3-3. All four of these creatures are lethal. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, could have a 4-4, but with the opponent at 3. Oh, well. So, I guess I want Titanic Brawl and Sleep, and we'll take out Frilled Mystics. And Harpooners. And get a Brontodon in here. Maybe even some Vivians. Would I rather have Vivian than Brontodon? No. With Nullhide? No. Yeah. Let's go with this. <laughs> our opponent cannot down sideboard down to 60. You cannot have 15 in more than 15 in your sideboard. So, cannot do that. I think that... This could turn into a matchup where we're both just staring at each other with, with a bunch of big creatures and everything, and the departed deckhands could be really good of just being unblockable kind of thing and surprising our opponent or just, you know, like if we get a stalemate, but we just have, like, this little 2-2 two -two unblockable. All right, looking for more lands. So we can keep double spelling. So they have 130 cards total. We got some synergy here. They have 121 cards left in their library. Our sub next sub battle countdown is at 121. Synergy. So every card they draw, we need we need a subscriber. So it's got to be. We got to keep it. <laughs> the phone's like, Psh, look at your tiny EDH deck. I could go Branch Walker and try to hit land and be able to play Departed Deckhand also. Or I just go Jade Light and then I'm not casting anything else. Oh, now I'm, I tap Blue Mana though. Ugh. Well, I get to attack for one with this land war elf. <laughs> How tilted would you be if you were running mill and queued against this guy? It's like 
I have just double the life total. Yes, we are in the constructed event. Alright, you got me. Snared some roots. Getting Naya value up here. Right. Two, four dinos cost two less. Cool. Won the Stompy Mirror. We didn't go as big as our opponent deck wise, but we went bigger battlefield wise and ended up winning. I can, I can keep this. Branch Walker find, finds a land. I think we're on the draw. I think we can keep this. One opponent. Very good draw. Into the harbor. I mean, Steel Leaf's turned on, and Frilled Mystic almost turned on. Okay, and got the thumbnail ready for Naya Value. Attack. No. I liked my five four. I would like our opponent just to pass turn here. Playing a Drake would be bad. That's bad.
Hmm. I don't know exactly if just playing Pulp Collector Branch Walker is better than holding up Frilled Mystic or not. Now that we're missing a land drop, and our opponent is being very patient, I was hoping they would play another Drake or a Ral. And didn't want to just play the Null Hide because of us already seeing Eye and Eyes. Thought it was kind of likely they'd have Counterspell. Does Ashes of the Abhorrent stop Arclight Phoenix Trigger? I'm not really exactly sure what how that card reads. Let's see. Players can't cast spells from graveyards or activate abilities in graveyards. No, it does not. Yeah, so, no, does not stop Arclight Phoenix. hand for the opponent. Taking my turn four off has been uh, certainly hurt us. We are pretty dead here. But good, good interaction for the opponent though. Like the one Drake and answers to everything we have. Does it look like War of the Spark is going to really change the current metagame or just add to existing decks? I'm not exactly sure, honestly. Gut says... Um, hmm. I don't know, maybe a little bit of both. Usually, usually, set, so this is the seventh set of the metagame. Almost always, seventh sets just add to current decks. You know, like when you already have six other sets, it's really hard for a seventh set to completely switch up the metagame. And so, it just kind of, you know, adds to you know, makes some decks better, and and so on. Um, but War of the Spark, though, is just so different. You know, we've never had a, a Planeswalker set like this before. I 
So they're a lot more controlling version. So I don't really like... I mean, Galta, while Galta is very good, we have to have like the creatures in play. And if they're just playing so much counterspell and removal, counterspells and removal, it's not as likely that we have Galtas in play. I could see that I'm supposed to be taking out Frilled Mystics, but I, I feel like Vivian's awesome here. And I'm not sure if I want to go Nullhide with Vivian, uh, even though Nullhide is, is very good too. Yeah, I do. I want to go Null High Vivian. And usually, the more sets you get, kind of better the 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 aggro decks do get better uh, with more sets, the lower cost stuff, because uh, basically standard as a whole gets more powerful and there's there's just more like a higher density of good one and two mana red spells, for example, uh, with within seven sets as there is within five sets. And if there's usually like that one like really good red card each set, whenever you have like seven sets, that's you know basically a deck of you know playing four X of all of them. So if I don't draw a green source, I won't be able to play Jade Light on turn three. But I think I like having the turn one play and turn two play of getting out aggressive here with Pulp Collector and departed deck hands. He says I could Galta and the Lana War. Oh, that's not even an elf anyway. Lana War? Can't why why would we cut Lana War Elf? That can't that can't be a card to cut. It makes our deck very fast. It's just what what we want. If you're worried about them just having like a bunch of like these like shock kind of removal spells and the land war elf wouldn't be as good because of that, help collector is the card to cut, not not land war elf. And spell pierce? Brutal. seen a, a lot of counter spells from them not throwing Vivian out into a counter spell gonna wait until next turn until I have Vivian with negate backup No, there's no card style bonuses for ranking Mythic this season. No, there's one for gold. You get Wizard's Lightning for gold, and you get um, wow, auto tap ones just to use those. So yeah, you get uh, Wizard's Lightning I for gold and Brass's Contempt for Platinum. 
Those are the two rewards this season. Ah, they did have another spell pierce. I'm gonna take the two for one there. The wilds are my shield. Hmm. I kinda wanna just take the harpooner. I'm going to do that. Just beat Mono Red with Grixis Dragons. Awesome, DJM. Correct. If you would start out... Yes. As long as you're Platinum at the end of the month. Meet and so, yeah, if you start out Platinum, friend. you'll get those automatically. Why Harpooner over Jade Light? Because a way that we... Like, the way that we lose this is our opponent having a Drake... Or Niv Mizzet or something like that, um, where like, you know, they play one. I, Viv, Vivian's at, uh, you know, whatever loyalty at three loyalty, so I could kill my Vivian to kill a Drake. But I don't really want to kill my Drivian, my Vivian to kill a Drake. So I like having the backup there. But like, let's say, let's say they play like Crackling Drake, for example. I kill it with Vivian, because then, because I took Jade Light, so now I have to kill it with Vivian, because otherwise this Crackling Drake is, like, really big and going to kill me, right? Or we'll just kill Vivian. So now my Vivian's gone, and I just have a Jade Light. And, and then if they have another Crackling Drake after that, then I'm just, you know, dead. So basically taking Jade Light's the way to lose, where taking Harpooner means that we are... Um, if they would have just slammed a Crackling Drake that turn... We get to fight it with Harpooner and take up Vivian to four loyalty. So then if they have another Crackling Drake, now my Vivian can minus and take out their Drake Balance and stay alive. Comes. So we could have taken the land to be able to cast Galta, but taking the the branch walker getting two mana three power also let us cast galta if branch walker if branch walker would have drawn a land it would have only been two power well then we can just play that land and also play galta so basically taking branch walker there so that we could gain a mana for uh galta plus we get the explore stuff as well Hmm. So do we want a Harpooner or Vivian? I think we Harpooner, because if we Vivian, then a Shock or a Lightning Strike would kill the Vivian. And they don't have Shock or Lightning Strike right now to deal with the Harpooner. You can't stop nature. Yeah. Yeah, good thing we took that harpooner earlier. Like, yeah, that's that's dying a hero for sure. Take out Niv Mizzet. No one knows the wilds like I do. Okay, Departed Deckhand does say four mana, another target creature you control. If it was just target creature. I was wondering if if it was going to be like target creature you control and you could just like target your own deckhand and kill your own deckhand. If they just had that like built in, that could happen. Fiery Cannonade? No. I 
Someone's playing a bunch of spell pierces. They had a bunch of spell pierces. What if I just don't play spells? For them to spell pierce. What if I don't play Vivian? Oh yeah, this is a pirate. Yeah, Kanade would not kill the deckhand. Good call, good call. Yeah, we kind of have to play Vivian. You right, you right. I could play Frilled Mystic over Pelt Collector. Pelty's just going to be dying to whatever burn spell. It does, like, up my curve a ton, though. Simic Guild Gate. It's so watery. Yeah, I guess we could have our own spell pierces. Yeah, maybe we could have gone with our own spell pierces. Instead of those frilled mystics. <laughs> 10 out of 10 difficulty song at karaoke. Hitting those high notes is difficult. Which one would you rather have countered? Steel Leaf or Jade Light? Spells if Ral's gonna mine us. Two spells is a convenient amount to be able to kill Jade Light Ranger. Could just be taken up and looking for more removal though. Yeah, that is on their science is going to fix this. It's on um, for the prizes for what you get after the season. 
uh, is on the arena forums. There may be somebody that knows where that is here in chat that can help link you. Keep them from drawing these cards. Basically, I don't want to like pass back to them. They just play like Niv Mizzet that I don't get to counter. Um, I think it's worth taking out a couple of cards. And basically, we traded. They had to cast a, a Lightning Strike and a Divination. Got rid of all those for the Frilled Mystic. I mean, that's that's a good trade for us. On your profile page, you can see the details of the prizes. And can we just stop drawing lands, please? So maybe just in-game, in Arena, Ramsey's, I guess, on your profile page on Arena, maybe, maybe you can find it there. Okay, there. Found him. Last card, Essence Scatter. Quench. 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 We have lots of twos to pay. So because of Niv, they get to cycle the Quench. I'm not loving where we're at here. I mean, yep. It's basically, do we win this turn? If we don't, then we lose, kind of thing. But it looks like we won this turn. Okay. Someone just mass manipulated your Tristani? No. Poor Tristani goes over to the other side for a turn. All right, two and zero. Oh. Do we have a better stompy beasts? Are much more. Rel we will not fail. Yeah, Nissa stompy. Yeah. I love it when they thought Ranger me and spent 30 seconds reading my hand. <laughs> I think we can keep this. Yeah, I'm in there. Especially we're on the draw. Seems like this has been today, though. Today has been draw tons and tons of lands one game, and then the very next game don't have any lands. And then the following game will draw tons and tons of lands, and then we won't have any lands. Thanks, Maluko. Yeah, Jurassic main deck is pretty common, and I think it's a pretty good choice. It's good against like everybody else. How are they take? They're taking Frilled Mystic. <laughs> That's what you get for running different duresses, though. So 
So, Soul Tide Control. Like, could certainly see them having Cry the Carnarium or Ritual of Soot. Like, either one that will wreck us. I just feel like there's a sweeper here. Hmm. So this is a reanimate deck. Knife concoct. There's concoct. So Muldrotha coming back, or could be worse for us, could be like Palaka Worm or something. Dream Eater? Hmm. Just want a draft match with Cleansing Nova, make a stand combo. Awesome. So now they can they can cast the Dream Eater from their graveyard. I assume this Yeah, so you still have to spend like the, the correct color of mana, so they well there that answers my question. I was gonna say they only had one blue source, so they weren't gonna be able to cast Dream Eater. Lock a worm. Really hope that last card or this one they draw is not ritual of set. Now, th so the problem with Departed Deckhand, and I, I probably should I just shouldn't even played it here. The problem is Dream Eater. I should have waited a turn to play it and then activate on Nullhide. Like, have the six man available. I, sh I should just shouldn't have played it. Do they have the land for Dream Eater? Or they, did they just ditch a land? Yeah, they just ditched a land, so they can just play that land. Oh, they're just going to concoct it. It's fine, too. Oh, it's become target of a spell, not spell or ability. Okay. So it just bounces it. Okay. Hello, spell or ability. My, my bad. My B. All right, so they got rid of some more lands and another Dream Eater, and then uh, a couple more lands and a Thought Erasure. So they kept two cards on top. They have lots of lands and another Dream Eater they get to play from their graveyard. None of these are spirits, are they? Nightmare Sphinx. 
elemental avatar. Deck hand is carrying. They kept their cards on top with with Dream Eater. You know they surveilled a bunch. They kept some, you know, like one thing on top with the concoct, and then something else on on top. Ugh. Quasi duplicate for Palaka Worm. Well, that's a good one. That's a good one. We have we have played this deck that our opponent's playing. We did have a, a donation before. We played this was a donation deck. We played all these cards. I think I don't think we had Notion Rain or Duress. I don't think. But we had the rest. We had quasi duplicate with these creatures and stuff. I remember this deck. Four. Five, six, seven. Hmm. Um, gameplay. Do not or auto order triggered abilities, please. I, yeah, I don't recognize the name. I don't believe this was the... Man, how am I supposed to know which one's which? Can't you tell me, like, I need to put the... I need the Branch Walker to make it grow to a 2-2. Two -two, and then the Jade Light make it 3-3. Three -three. How am I supposed to tell which one's which? I can't even tell. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe we just shouldn't even kill the worm. Right, because of Muldratha. I kind of forgot about Muldratha, to be honest, with that. Like, yeah, that's that's honestly probably pretty bad of killing the worm. Good call, good call. Um, hmm. Oh, when you hover over the trigger of the card in the graveyard. Okay, I don't, I don't, you can start auto, auto ordering again. Oh, okay, I missed that. So I'm playing the Steel Leaf before the Null Hide, so that the Pell Collectors will grow to be four fours with the Steel Leaf, and then they'll grow to be, you know. Five fives if the steel leaf dies, and then six sixes afterwards. Yeah, Palaka Worm is awesome. They've gained 21 life so far. We have for removal. We don't have any removal. I have to race Dream Eater. Do we have any... Like, what do we have for removal? So we have, like, sw sleep. This could certainly be a sleep matchup.
their whole plan is stabilize with Palaka Worm. I guess we could have like negate spell pierce for concoct, but that's not that far off of them just casting their spells. Um, Titanic Brawl could be decent with Galta. I don't think I need Harpooner to fight Dream Eaters. Okay, I need to look. I need to. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. It's a whole lot of fours. Nah. Maybe just two sleep. Go to sleep. Just take out the harpooners for sleeps. We still want to have our. We don't want to take apart like our aggressive starts and everything. Okay. That's not bad. So we'll go. Land we're off on one. Pelt Collector on two, playing Hinterland Harbor, attacking for one. And then Null Hide on three, and then start holding up Frilled Mystic after turn four. This can work. Well, now I can just play the forest, I guess. Take null hide. Null hide. Null hide. Null hide. Null hide. Look at how scary this thing is. Look at those paws. Dang. I like our chances here. Turn three, null hide. I like our chances. Plus, we got Mama Galta coming up. <laughs> you took a null hide earlier. Whoops. I should have used the unclaimed territory. Um, I don't really want to tap the Lana War Elf. I want to attack with the Lana War Elf. I'm just going to say Dino with this thing. I think we're going to be okay. You know what that thing's saying, Dino? <laughs> I don't think these cards have cosmetics, I don't think. Or I guess some of them do. Yeah, I guess I guess some of them do. Null High does, Galta does. Maybe Pulp Collector even does. I guess I didn't I don't think I checked. But yeah, we are missing quite a bit of cosmetics for this deck. Pell Collector does also? Yeah, we're missing a ton. Hey, Mike, how was the tournament today? <clears throat> oh, yeah, even Sleep has a cosmetic too, doesn't it?
I'd say I'm a mid-range player. Don't like trying that one. Gosh. I don't really like this one either. But at least we get a scry. So we get three looks at a second land. Alright, we'll take the guild gate. <laughs> no, I I wear real ties, yes. Take a null hide. I don't know where a null hide is, but just just find one and choose that. Make me discard null hide ferox. Ugh, there it is. Found it. Play disinformation campaign. Go ahead, opponent. You can do it. Disinformation campaign. Ooh, choose null hide. It's so much scarier than these two drops. I mean, it's just the smart one. Like, this is a 2-2, two, two, that's a 2-1, that's a 2-1, that's a 6-6. Six, six. Wow, not even taking the 6-6. Six, six. It's a bold strategy. Hey, Branch Walker. Not much. We just Branch Walking over here. I really like this 3D art of Branch Walker. Do Merfolk really walk on branches, though? Didn't get there. I punted round five. That would have put me in top eight. Uh, overextended into a gates ablaze and didn't count the possibility of end step growth spiral for that extra point of damage. Or for that extra point of damage. Oh, yeah. You never overextend with mono blue. Never. Always hold up counters. So while Jade Light is, is a good is a pretty good draw this next turn, it's not gonna beat our opponent having Null Hide Ferox. Wow. We are dead. I guess I'm supposed to keep my Branch Walker, not trade with Hostage Taker, because they have just all their reanimation effects to get Hostage Taker back later, and keeping Branch Walker makes it a little easier to cast Gal uh, potential Galta. Their hand was really good. Double Thought Erasure, and then Sweeper, and then Eldritch Reborn for my big creature, and then Hostage Taker. Like... That's an awesome hand. <laughs> awesome, awesome hand. And sometimes you just gotta give it up to your opponent. Great hand. Almost had that game won. But the Palaka Worm stabilized, and then the double Palaka Worm with Quasi Duplicate. That was a huge problem. Too much life.
So we need to draw our, our own Nullhide Ferox again and be able to trade. And then we need to start keep drawing more creatures. And we need our opponent to, to not have anything. Yeah, they gained the, the, the 21 life that first game. Our opponent doesn't have Null... They, they took our Nullhide Ferox with Eldritch Reborn. They, they're not playing Nullhide Ferox. They made us sacrifice Nullhide and then got it back with the third chapter. So if we chump block for a turn, we are still taking two from the hostage taker and then there's nothing that I can play to keep me alive from just that hostage taker for the next turn. Alright, so two and one. For how that game played out, I, like, you know, I kind of regret not having more counter spells in our deck. Third one lander in the last four games. All right, another blue-black deck. So if I attack with one land or elf, means my opponent can use removal spell on the other one. And then I like have to counter that removal spell even though I don't want to counter that removal spell. All right, opponent's missing land drops. I'd say Simic is my favorite guild color combination for the current standard format. But not overall. We are boarding out Galta in this matchup, by the way. Boarding out Galta very quickly. But Against removal heavy decks, Galtos don't do anything, as you can tell. Now, Celesnia is my favorite guild. Now Galta does stuff, after we get way ahead. But, still boarding them all out. It's like, once once you're like already winning, then Galta helps you win.
So even another another hostage taker is not doing it. All right, so those are out. Vivians are in. So they're gonna have Phoenix, Bolus, Thief of Sanity, and Hostage Taker. So I think I want Brawls in this kind of matchup. Brawls aren't necessarily great against instant speed removal, though. But I, I really want to kill Thief. Or, like, the Phoenix token. You know, basically all those things are important things to kill. What am I taking out? A couple Pelt Collectors. A couple Departed Deckhands. Yeah, they're basically just two... These are just two mana two twos. The whole can't be blocked thing isn't that important in this matchup. Correct. You cannot kill the the token that Phoenix makes does not have flying. Correct. What do I want my last card to be? Do I want a third negate, or do I want a first deckhand, or do I want a Brontodon? <laughs> like this Grixis deck, you may think it's just like tons and tons of spells, but it's, it's actually pretty creature heavy. I'm gonna go with the deckhand. So our opponent can like sit back behind Phoenix and stuff like that. Alright, four out of five being a one lander now. We really are a one a one land band. Is that a thing? That's what this deck is. This deck's a one land band. <laughs> I got one land in my pocket. Stomp, 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 stomp. Stomp. Great draw. Second blue source for Frilled Mystic. Opponent doesn't have their third color. Three basic swamps is a lot of basic swamps. Wow, they were greedy. Of course, they could have just top decked the Ritual of Set, but if they had that last turn, they really need to fire that off last turn. Especially seeing the Frilled Mystic are first turn. So it's only possible they just top deck it, though. All right, three and one. We stomping. Yeah, aggressive green creatures backed up by counter magic is a very good formula to win matches of magic in standard so you've seen i've had a lot of simic decks that i've been playing the last couple of weeks with that premise am i surprised by the deck at all no no i don't i don't think i've no. I don't think there's been anything too surprising. Yet. But to be fair, I, I play these kind of decks a whole lot, so... 
I played a lot of different Stompy decks, a lot of different Simic Aggro decks. Basically, the only card that I don't have experience with that's in this deck is the Departed Deck Man. And it's playing about as expected. It's pretty mediocre. It, you know, has high upside and how high downside. You know, the upside of, like, you know, being able to do the whole activated thing and uh, win stalemates. The downside being a, a two mana 2-2. Two, two. We definitely need to pressure our opponent as much as we can with the Miss Cloak Herald and Curious Obsession combo. So we're certainly going Steel Leaf Champion. We're not trying to do deck hand and then to grow the Pelt Collector so Steel Leaf will grow it more. No, 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 no. We are getting big creatures out, making our opponent play more to the board, tap out more so that we can resolve more things and, and so on. Children Booga. Thanks, Inbed. So Trickster can tap a Steel Leaf, but Trickster cannot block a Steel Leaf. I'm expecting Trickster here. Would I want to trade Pelt Collector plus Harpooner for Tempest Gin? Probably not. I wish I had like I wish I had the fourth mana here and I could have dropped Nullhide and been able to grow this Pelt Collector. Could go for the unblockable here, or I'd, you know, just try to find lands. Hmm. Let's go this way. You can also put creatures in the graveyard if we have creatures come up. And that's good for Harpooner. So they have another Tempest Gin plus Dive Down. Wait, they ditched a Temp... How is this Tempest Gin on their graveyard? So they kind of have to have Trickster plus Dive Down. I hope they don't have that. Okay. Yeah, they had to discard hand size. Yeah, and discard the gin. Uh, 
All right, so they had the dive down which they needed. So otherwise, if, if this Tempest Gen is dead also, it's gonna be pretty tough for them. All right. No Trickster, which is good. I feel like if they had if they had a Trickster, they could attack with the Tempest Gen. I think, I think we're gonna lose. Yeah, that's probably game. All they need is a dive down. Perfect. Oh, that was the, the one card that we could get to keep us alive here. We're still probably going to lose, but that keeps us alive. Should have played Deckhand instead of Jade Light a previous turn. Yeah, like we're still gonna lose. But that was a good draw. Couldn't quite spend enough mana. Getting stuck on lands is rough. So our deck hand is above average if you play enough games. Like a, above average for for a standard card. Like cards in standard are really good. It has its it has its times. Like it it does some things. World Mystic's usually just going to be too expensive for a counter spell. Uh, I'm going to be taking those out. They had, yeah, our opponent just drew too many cards off the Curious Obsession. They just had a few turns there where when we were ahead, they had to have like X plus Y for a couple of turns in a row, and they did. Uh, like, especially the dive downs. Those dive downs were. Critical. No, it costs six mana. That's the thing. We just we didn't have the mana. You had to you know pay two for deckhand and then another four to make the mystic unblockable. Just didn't have that kind of mana. We just drew land number five. That last turn. I don't know what to take out here. I I don't know what to do. I don't know what to take out. Um, I'm gonna take out the explore creatures, I guess. Gotta cut something. They don't, without having wild growth walker, they don't usually do enough. We gotta draw some of the, the big creatures to turn these Galtas on. Galta is the kind of thing, like, Galta just wins this matchup if Galta resolves, but it can be difficult to having Galta resolving.
Come on, deck. Why not fight the Storm Tamer there? Is that, I don't know, that two for one's us? Instead of one for one? I guess the Storm Tamer is going to most likely be able to eat the fight spell later on anyway. That takes the Land Werewolf and the Titanic Brawl, and then I like, like, I don't know, I just wanted to, to keep the, the Land Werewolf for Galta also. It kind of counts as two for Galta. It would have, if we would have found a, if we would have found a Null Hide there, would have been able to cast it immediately. Oh, that's true. It's, I guess it does two for two us. That's that's reasonable. Instead of one for one ing, we're two for two ing, trading the elf for storm tamer. That's true. Kind of need my land war elf though. If we're ever gonna cast this Galta. Uh, Sticks asks, can you exile two targets if you flicker a Deputy of Detention? I don't believe so. Oh yeah, Dive Down would have been a huge blowout. True. No, I believe Deputy of Detention is worded that it only works as long as it was like on the battlefield. Yeah, let's let's wait till we can cast a couple spells in a row before we just play this null hide that has no chance of resolving. It's so like one more mana and we could double null hide. Correct. That's what Nabon does. Doubles the ETB effects for wizards. These Titanic Brawls are horrible. Why can't we just have Entrancing Melody? Just get. Get this card out of here. Entrancing Melody we could at least cast. What? How'd that resolve? What? They're gonna Melody it? It cost them 8 mana. Can't cast. So we don't have 
any opportunity to win here, I don't think. Because of the two Storm Tamers. If our opponent just didn't block, we couldn't win. But now... At least we make them sacrifice the two Storm Tamers, at least. Because, like, they had nine here that was going to kill us, but at least we could make them sack the Storm Tamers. I don't know if that will really help, but at least those will be gone. I mean, they could just have more dive downs, I guess. Though. Wow, they just didn't realize that Storm Tamer does stuff. Well, we're still dead. Harpooner. Nope. Um. All right, so three and two. Hey, 60 gems. That's good. So overall, deck was okay. The cards that I was very skeptical on, I'm still very skeptical on. I still can't, I can't imagine this is our best card to be playing. I, I would definitely be playing an Entrancing Melody. Because like with the times you want removal against like those aggro decks, you want to just be able to have the removal right away. You know, having like an entrancing melody on one for like a one drop, for example, or anything like that. I would much rather have entrancing melodies. And it's still not sure this is better than Wild Growth Walker, of having Wild Growth and Jade Light. I think the deck could have more Harpooners. Like we have the two in the main just not having any more harpooners. I think that could have some more there. Um, and yeah, still not really sure on sleep either. Do I have a, a deck kind of like this? Or did I get, do I not have it anymore with Hadana Stompy? Yeah, I've had to clear off room. But basically, I feel like a deck like this should be playing Hadana's Climb um, and Dive Down. I've really liked, like, whenever I had, like, you know, I've played some some blue green Stompy, uh, quite, you know, like uh, earlier in the format and last format and stuff too. And I, I really like Hadana Stompy and Dive Down in these decks. Um, four Galta is probably just too many. We saw like we would just have Galtas in our hand just too much. It's, it's a you know, it's the it's the kind of card is like whenever it's good, it, it wins games, but whenever it's bad, it loses games because it's just sitting in your hand where you can't play it, and it's just a, a mulligan on its own. Um, I I don't think boarding out frilled mystic was a mistake against mono blue. The three two body against mono blue isn't 
very valuable in the late game because that's when it comes down in the late game and so you're you're really paying four mana counter spell and that's a lot So, I mean, just a, a rough draft of what I would recommend for the Simic Stompy deck. I'd have, like, the Harpooners in the board kind of thing. All those Jade Lights. And, you know, like, Pell Collector didn't, like do anything. It doesn't usually do anything. The thing is, like, if you actually want to play Nullhide or not, or, like, you know, Null Nullhide with spells, of course, isn't, isn't spectacular. But Melody is, like, good against everybody. Climb gives you, like, that that ability to go other, over other people. Oh, yeah. Duh. If you're playing a Simic deck, you should just be playing Krasis, right? Yeah. Gotta get them Krasis in there. Want the melodies in the board? That's fine. Hate Spell Pierce. And Crushing Canopy is just awesome in this format. Lots of flyers. Lots of enchantments. Are we too low of mana for Krasis? I don't know. Did you see all those games? Like We have 24 lands. We have the four land wars. Branch Walkers and Jade Lights get you more lands. I don't think we're too low of lands for crisis. Um, this would be sixty two. I have to trim a couple. Probably a Nullhide or a Frilled Mystic, but if you want to just go with three Krasis, you could. But Krasis just holds the, the glue together, you know, like we, as you saw like that, those games, we did have a lot of games where, we had a lot of games where we had like one landers and stuff, but then we also had a lot of games where we just had a bunch of mana and we weren't doing anything forever, and that's, that's what Krasis does, it, it lets you do something. If you, if you need to do something on turn four, you need to just cycle a Krasis, you can. If you have a lot of mana later on, it just draws, you know, a ton of cards. So. So there we go. That would be a similar deck that I would be a whole lot more comfortable playing in that uh, I'd recommend, but it's not for everybody, though. Um, yeah, and and D Love, yeah, you you like your list that you're playing and everything, you know, you know, keep, you know, if you like your list, keep playing your list, you know. It's just it's not a, a list that, you know, I I would like I'd rather play something like this myself, but, you know, I, different people have different play styles, kind of thing, also, and that. And obviously, I would change the mana with unclaimed territories and stuff, but, um, you know, so you can certainly, you know, if you're having good success with your deck, keep on going with it. So there we go. That's some Simic Stompy. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.